right, so here's what I did. I uh, I thought that the quickest thing to do to fix this issue was not to redo the whole code all over again because I did a lot of manual editing uh, before. So I've slowed down the feed just a little bit more and I split the uh, finishing cut and the roughing cut so they're two separate uh, programs all together. Now the roughing cut, uh, since I'm doing handling the the down travel on the z-axis by myself I decided to go down only 25 thousandths of, uh, of an inch instead of 50 thousandths so I am uh, divided that in half and that means that I won't have to run that roughing code twice so this is gonna take you know uh, obviously twice as long to do all of that uh, once uh, the roughing is done I'm gonna run the finishing pass the finishing pass is pretty much the same as it was before but it's just on a separate uh, on a separate uh, uh, program. Uh, the other thing that I did, I changed the position of the belt uh, for the for the drive uh, of the spindle, so she spins uh, twice as fast. Obviously, I get half the torque, but hopefully, it clears up chip faster. I don't know. Um, I got my last double-ended uh, uh, quarter-inch mill. If one breaks, uh, maybe I try to slow it down again, uh, slow the spindle down again, and if that one breaks. Uh, uh, then I guess we're done with this project until I can get some some new meals All right so uh, let's give it another shot and see hopefully we don't break anything this time <laughs> Yeah, let's sort of stop the code here for a minute. Uh, as uh, as you can see, it's cutting a lot better. It's actually even smoother here, and uh, the loops that is uh, that's making they seem right. Uh, but you, you can see, you probably can see the steps that is making at the very end. That's not supposed to be like that. They're supposed to every level is supposed to end up right in the same spot, and so that means that every time it goes back to the beginning is actually moving further and further back in this direction which seems to be in line with what I was finding every time I stopped the program and I uh, sent it back to zero it would never line back up with this it would be a little bit off and then a little bit more off and uh, I have DROs out there that tell me how far off this thing has gotten um, so I'm gonna send this cutter back to zero 
and then see if the DROs, I want to start it out, the DROs were uh, a zero, zero, both of them, so let's see. And so I stopped the program right there, let's see if it does. and uh, I'm going to focus on those, and uh, just for the hell of it, I'm going to try, instead of using the go to zero button, I'm going to use the uh, manual interface there, and give it the command x zero, actually this one, x zero, y zero, you am going to hit enter, see where that one goes. In the center of that mail should line up with a little quarter, which doesn't look like it's going to do at all. Uh, yeah, that's not uh, nowhere near being a zero. Uh, yeah, you can see here how far off that is getting. And let's see if we can get. So we're like 158 thousands off in the x axis and 112 thousands off in the y axis. So somehow it's losing steps. And because as you can see up there. Yeah, it's zero, zero. So he thinks it's at zero, but it really isn't at zero, as the actual DROs are telling us. And as you can tell by the step count, see if we can get a close up. Yeah, that's. Uh, you might be able to see it better that way. I don't know if it shows up, but. Uh, so, uh, my guess right now is that. Somehow, maybe I'm driving the mill too hard, and the stepper motors are the stepper motors are, motors are kind of losing some steps, um, which is not good. Um, I need to look into probably the uh, the settings of uh, of the mill and uh, and try to run it again and see what I can come up with, but. Uh, Not really sure what to think about right now. Mm. Uh, I the only thing I can think about right now that that's probably what might be happening here. Uh, other than that, the code is working great. I like uh, I like the way it's uh, it's cutting. Uh, now we have a, a depth of cut that does not uh, does not destroy the the end mill, so uh, that's uh, that's a good thing. Uh, we're getting we're getting close to some decent setups. Uh, I mean, setup settings, rather. Uh, just need to figure out what uh, what that's all about, and uh, that's gonna that's gonna require quite a little bit of investigation. So, we'll close this video for now, and uh, hopefully, maybe attach the uh, an ending part to it or something. You know, when when this uh, piece gets uh, finally finished up, but. Uh, uh, we'll wrap it up for now. It's get, probably getting longer than than I was intending to, and uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll attach an update to it. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, thank you for bearing uh, uh, through these uh, painful learning lessons with me. And uh, see you in the next video.